What's up with the gang? It's your boy, Josh. Back with another video, man. Today we got, um, first of all, what is going on with P. Diddy? What is going on with P. Diddy, man? To be honest, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I heard he had a underground basement, sex trafficking little kids. I heard he doing some things with some of these, some of y'all favorite rappers. Yeah. I heard, look, I heard him, him and uh, Meek Mill, like, did it. And it's a whole audio recording. Okay. No, I heard he fooled around with a lot of rappers. Okay, first off, if, if that's what this is. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what this This is everyone named in P. Diddy's sex abuse lawsuits. Is he in jail? Nah, his, you know his, um... His crib got raided. I saw that before yeah. I left. Yeah, like, it's a lot of stuff going on with P. Diddy. He probably the hottest topic right now. Like, I heard it's some stuff he did with a lot, a lot of celebrities. He be throwing, he be throwing them, them all white parties or them, them mansion parties. Have you heard about that? No. You heard about them parties? He <laughs> Woo. All right, come on, boy. Yeah, we finna... We finna be, this is an edu education, educate, educated, educated video. Sorry about the educated video. So, um, I want, I just want to know what's going on with PDD. Uh, Why? Because I be seeing, I'm like, what is going on with him? So. See, that's the, that's the, I get, that's my problem with, with celebrity <laughs> and, and media and all of that. <clears throat> it's like. Uh, celebrities will get built up and then media would tear them down as quickly as they can. But at the same time, you also got celebrities doing some stupid junk. Yeah, and they say they say the feds don't don't raid you for no reason. They say they've been That's true. looking they, after him for if, like years. If they got if the feds, evidence piled. If feds are asking you questions, it's not because they don't know. Yeah. So uh oh, we ain't gonna shit. judge nobody yet. But like, comment, subscribe, follow Instagram, roll 300k. Let's get straight into it. I hope Gang. the same way. It's, some, it's a lot of stuff I've seen on Instagram about him, but. We're about to see something on the level of Epstein, Weinstein, <gasps> to the power. Do you remember Cat Williams' Instagram? I mean, Cat Williams' um interview. Did you remember what he said about P. Diddy? He said, P. Diddy will be exposed 2024. He said, y'all see why I don't go to his parties? I do remember that. You don't have to go to what I said. I remember it. All right. My fault. Power of tech. From members of the royal family to Grammy and Academy Award winners, we're breaking down all the A-list celebrities named in court docs against P. Diddy, along with some startling accusations. First of all, that that entire filing was just gasp for it. I'm not seeing a scenario where he can escape liability, criminal liability. He's been known for years as a renowned rapper, producer, and you listen legal to executive. Or did goes you? by the names mm -hmm. P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, or his legal name, Sean yeah. Combs. Why Whatever name here? you want to call him, he's no stranger to legal troubles. Just this week, both Diddy's homes in Miami and Los Angeles were raided by Homeland Security. According to former prosecutor Melba Pearson, they're likely looking for some specific evidence. The feds are doing raids at three different homes of P. Diddy, including his homes in California, in Florida, and in New York. And what I think they're looking for are... And when they raided him, guess where he was? Out the U.S. private jet on the island, wherever he was, I know he wasn't in the U.S. Are videos. So basically, P. Diddy had a habit, allegedly based on told to us through the filings by uh, Cassie Ventura. They have all said 
that people the habit of liking to video either him abusing other people or in, you know forcing other people to abuse each other for his pleasure and how would record all of that. So I think those are some of the things that the feds are looking for. I think they're looking for other types of evidence to corroborate the statements that were made by Little Rod, by Cassie Ventura, and the other people have come forward saying you that seen how they lived his house. So they're looking for corroborating Amazing. evidence. And <laughs> the basically the building blocks to put together what will end up being a massive, massive, massive criminal case. Yeah. So far, Diddy hasn't been arrested, but he has already faced his fair share of legal issues. Last year, Diddy's ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, who you probably know as singer Cassie, accused him of sex trafficking and sexual slavery. She alleged that Diddy raped her and beat her so severely that she was bruised. Cassie also alleged Diddy made her have sex with prostitutes and recorded it on video. She also says what? he forced her to carry a gun. Cassie sued him under New okay. York's adult survivor. Why didn't she say this before, though? Okay, the thing about it is that she probably prost scared. prostitutes is plural. So if... Did she it, say prostitute or prostitutes? She said prostitutes. That's Madonna in the background. Dang. But she said prostitutes, so that 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 would mean that it's more than one. And as a grown person, you've had opportunity to get out of that. To carry a gun, Cassie sued him under New York's Adult Survivors Act and settled with Diddy outside of court just one day after the suit was filed. Joy Diggers oh, wow. and oh, he... also filed suit against Diddy under the Adult Survivors Act, paid, like... accusing him of drugging yeah. and sexually assaulting her back in 1991 when she was a college student at Syracuse University. Diddy was slammed with yet another lawsuit last month, this time brought on by music producer Rodney Jones, also known as Lil Rod. The 73-page lawsuit lays out dozens of allegations against Diddy, including that he forced Lil Rod to hire prostitutes and have sex with them. The court doc also claims Diddy himself assaulted Lil Rod, but that's not the only bombshell. Who is he? Mm -hmm. I thought you knew him. revealed in the detailed documents. Lil Rod doesn't shy away from publicly naming other celebrities he says assaulted him. I don't know that Cooper Gunning Jr. is going to escape from that one. Let's start with the allegations against oh, Academy Award-winning actor Cuba Gooding Jr. Lil Rod alleges Diddy was, quote, grooming him to pass him off to his friends. This fear became reality when Mr. Combs introduced Mr. Jones to Cuba Gooding Jr. when they were on Mr. Combs's yacht. There's actually point. photos of their interaction together, too, which are laid out in those court documents. In the first pic, you see Diddy and Cuba talking with Diddy's arms on Cuba's. In the next pic, Cuba has his arm around Lil Rod and is smirking. Court docs go on to he say, ain't smirking, but Cuba Gooding Jr. began that's, touching, that's groping, still... and fondling Mr. Jones's legs, his inner thighs near his groin, the small of his back near his buttocks, and his shoulders. He rejected his advances, and Mr. Gooding Jr. did not stop until Mr. Jones forcibly pushed him away. In the last couple of years, there were allegations against him for sexual assault. So now we have those prior allegations, and now we see <laughs> Liv, tied I'm to laughing this at your case, face. As that, is, allegedly, that, that makes no uh, sense. Trying to, you know, uh, assault a no, little bit. Oh, not radio. Others. Back in 2019, <laughs> Cuba was booked on misdemeanor charges of forcible touching and sexual abuse after he allegedly groped a woman in Times Square. By the next year, three. I remember that. I'm not, I remember slow that. Slow moment. Slow moment for me. What is grope? Like, huh? <laughs> Why you got to be so demonstrative? <laughs> Is that what that is, though? No, grope is is basically to grab somebody. Just oh, it's like grab me. What? Accusing what? him of non-consensual sexual touching. He eventually reached a deal with prosecutors that required six months of counseling, but no jail time. I I am getting the feeling where there's smoke, there's fire, right? Because now we have two different instances <sighs> where you're accused of the same type of behavior. You know, years apart. I, I think there's something there. And I don't know that Cooper Gunning Jr. is going to escape from that one because he already saw 
definitely people moving away from him within Hollywood circles and other circles mm. once those first sexual assault allegations came out. So at this point, I don't think he's going to get get away with it a second time. Is it possible that he could face charges based on these allegations that were brought forward by Lil Rod? It is possible as well. Um, again, we've got the statute of limitations <sighs> issue to deal with. So depending on the time frame of when this happened is, you know, again, the Adult Survivors Act, which was the vehicle where many of these there. lawsuits you came know, out, many of these civil me. law schools suits, excuse me, came out, there, there was a finite amount of time for those suits to be filed. The time frame is going to be very, very important. Uh, what witnesses come forward, because again, you know, this this may not be a situation where DNA may, may be at play. This may be more of a situation of, hey, yes, I was there. And people I who want to be famous, you know, no. You don't uh, Cuba famous. Gooding Jr., you know, putting his hands on the little rod or I, re you know, recall certain aspects. So it's what going to be a see? very witness I was going to say, okay, this, this is why I believe in the Illuminati and people selling their souls and doing all that. Okay, who's buying the souls? <laughs> well, no, I'm saying like, I know there's a lot of conspiratorial stuff that's out there, but um, to me, it's, that's what it is. It's, it's conspiracy. I just, I, yeah, it's just, I just hope not. <laughs> Case, and the question is, will the witnesses be willing to come forward? Lil Rod's lawsuit also publicly named another celebrity linked to Diddy. Jennifer Lopez. From the, the standpoint of the, the names of the celebrities Jennifer, that were oh tied to this, the fact that Jennifer Lopez was tied to this back when she was involved in a or party to a shooting at a nightclub when she was dating Diddy and is now alleged to have brought the gun with, with her to the scene and gave it to Diddy and that's how the shooting occurred. Lil Rod's team brings up J-Lo when establishing Diddy's history writing his quote, Rico Enterprise has existed for at least 20 years, dating back to the 1999 nightclub shooting in NYC, when Mr. Combs required his then girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez, to transport his illegal firearm into the NYC nightclub. The court docs allege Diddy forced his then artist, Shine, to assume responsibility for the shooting of several individuals. All this happened back on December 27, 1999, when a fight broke out at a nightclub. Diddy, J Lo, and rapper Shine were all there, and according to I remember rapper something Mark with Shine. Curry, Diddy paid Shine one million dollars to take the fall for the shooting and serve a ten-year prison sentence. Lil Rod's lawsuit now suggests it was. Would you? You would have did? Nope. Ten million dollars for ten years? No, sir. I mean, no. One, he said one million. One million dollars for ten years? No, sir. What about a hundred million? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 because there's too many things that happen in prison. Uh, you can't, can't buy that time. Ten? That's five? Just, okay, we talking some. Ten? No. That's just crazy. You got to be in the billions. And and the thing about it is that to have that much money, uh, it, it's almost like what happens is that these people get numb to reality and just start doing any and everything. When you, It's like money... Money and power uh, is is worse than heroin for some folk. So, oh gosh. It was J-Lo who brought the gun. The fact that she's named as somebody who was carrying a weapon, could that be incriminating for Jennifer Lopez? It can be, um, but- She's Jenny on the block. huge caveat, right? <laughs> um, if I'm not mistaken, that shooting did not result in a death. I know that somebody was harmed, but I don't believe anyone was killed. Because of that, you had the statute of limitations to deal with, which is basically a prolonged amount of, uh, a certain amount of time that a prosecutor has to be able to bring charges against someone. Mm. And it, it varies from state to state, but the one thing is consistent is that there is no statute of limitations on murder. So if P. Diddy had actually killed this person or the person wrong? died as a result of their she injuries, look good to you right there? now J. Lo <laughs> would be brought into the mix as a co-defendant because of the fact that the person has passed away. But if the person is alive 
and maybe they had serious injuries or whatever the case may be, statute of limitations would run. And it is highly likely at this juncture that statute of limitations have expired. Therefore, she does not have any criminal liability. But the reputational damage might be a different story because now she's branding herself we as something care about very that. different than who she was back then. Back then, she was very much on Jenny from the block. She was, you know, dating a variety of hip hop artists. She was very much in that world. Now she's married to Ben Affleck. She's trying to, you know, portray herself in a different manner. So now her past is. Look, I open my phone. Her, and we don't Diddy. know what that's going to mean for her future in terms of movie deals, music deals, or anything like that. So I think for her, it might be more reputational damage than criminal liability. Pierce. He, he looks like. Him and Kai not look alike. Mm -mm. They do to me. Tim says it's possible <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. You know, um, him and 50, 50 Cent and um, P. Diddy, they going at it. Well, I know 50 Cent throwing major shots. 50, 50 throw shots. <laughs> 50 throw shots at everybody. 50, he liked it. Like he, you think he. 50, 50, he reminds me of. I don't, a, know, I don't know nothing about him. He reminds me of a bully. 50, 50, one of those cats that that it's like he come around. It's like you just shake your head, like oh shoot, because he 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 bring a truckload of trouble with him. <laughs> but some sort oh, of defamation shoot. suit, but it's not likely. She could, but at the end of the day, when it comes to defamation in those types of cases, truth is an absolute defense. So if he has some sort of receipts to basically prove that, hey. I, I was right there. I saw her the same way in the filings. You saw a number of different screenshots and pictures that he submitted to support the different points that he was making. If he has some pictures to substantiate that she was carrying the gun, it, it, it's going to be very hard for her to say in good conscience in a court of law that, you know, this wasn't true. He's made this up. And now as a result, I've lost, you know, money. I've lost opportunities and things like that. There's going to be too much evidence out there connecting her to this that is going to be very hard for a jury to come back and say, yeah, he's making all of this up. But it's not just artists that Lil Rod named either. He specifically mentioned Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, in his court documents. It reads in part, quote, Mr. Combs was known for throwing the best parties, affiliation with and or sponsorship that is something I've of heard a lot about. sex trafficking parties garnered legitimacy and access to political figures, artists, musicians, and international dignitaries like British royal Prince Harry. Why even name Prince Harry? There's no allegations against him or anything, but why bring him up? I think it may have been a move to bring more credibility to the filing and say that, you know, basically he was using, he being Diddy, was using his fame, fortune, and influence to insulate himself. So he was able to legitimize some of the activities he was doing by having these lavish parties, bringing all these A-list celebrities, but somewhere in a back room or somewhere in, in another wing you know, horrible things were happening. So the fact that Prince Harry was there does not necessarily mean he was participating in what was happening. And just because you were at a party doesn't mean you know what's happening in every yeah. inch of the house. I mean, if you think about it, if the party's being thrown in a mansion, there are various floors and wings. So it is completely possible that he was there and did not participate. Now, if you had said Prince Andrew, especially as a result of the allegations that came out in connection with the Epstein case that they were close and that they traveled Boy. together and you know there was a person that alleged that he had um had sexually assaulted her while she was underage that would be a different story but prince harry and the way that it was mentioned seemed to be very again just sort of trying to bring legitimacy and talk about these were the people that he that did he surrounded himself by to protect himself so Prince Harry has no formal accusations against him, but the name association could cause damage to his reputation. Even so, Pearson says it's well, I mean, not he likely nothing. he files any sort of defamation suit. It's possible that Prince Harry may be able to preserve his reputation. But again, just in light of everything him and the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, have been through, I... I Truly, really hope that you know he's able to completely distance himself, maybe make a statement. Because again, since he is not necessarily under the 
uh, umbrella of the royal family directly. That So in other words, Buckingham Palace would not be releasing a statement on his behalf. It would be him releasing a statement and saying, yes, I went to X party, but no, I never engaged in any inappropriate behavior or other details that he may see fit to share. Um, so that's going to be, you know, we're going to have to wait and see on that one. But again, since it was such a minuscule mention in the con greater context of this filing, he may be okay. Pearson compares Prince Harry's association with that of President Bill Clinton, who'd been seen with Jeffrey Epstein before his arrest. And there didn't seem to be much said around <laughs> him actually engaging in activities more that he was present at the parties. So I don't recall seeing a lot of yeah, parties, boy. Uh, on the part of President Clinton from that association. Speaking of Epstein, Lil Rod's court docs draw a parallel between Diddy's alleged crimes and Jeffrey Epstein's. Epstein died by suicide back in 2019 when he faced new- Jeffrey Epstein died? charges of sexual assault over the course of multiple years. His longtime companion, Ghislaine Maxwell, was charged and found guilty of sex trafficking in relation to her time with Epstein. She's currently serving out a lengthy prison sentence. Lil Rod compares Diddy's chief of staff, Christina Cahorum, to Ghislaine Maxwell, saying she ordered sex workers and prostitutes for Mr. Combs and ordered and distributed ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, and mushrooms to Mr. Combs and his celebrity guests who were present on his rented yacht. What is GHB? In LA, NYC, and mm -hmm. Miami. Under these cases, when you have these high profile people that have been using people over years, these cases happen without a handler. R. Kelly had a handler, you know, uh, Epstein had a handler, Weinstein had, had, had a handler. Everybody has in those scenarios of those powerful people, powerful men that are abusing other people, they have someone that does their dirty work. And it's usually not only just one person, it's several people who may have different duties. So again, you know, seeing this this woman being his handler, being the person to get him drugs, being the person to, to uh, procure sex workers for him, being the person to basically be on cleanup duty in case of, you know, covering up or silencing people that might want to come forward, you know, that that that's not unusual. And she is also going to bear the brunt. Of so bottom line was that he's been, just like his Maxwell home has been raided. He just hasn't been arrested. Mm. And when they come, if, if, if they decide to arrest his, his curtains. <laughs> boy. He said his curtains. The entire brunt of the yeah. criminal justice system alone because of the fact that, you know, um, Epstein committed suicide and was not able to be held accountable. And According to Pearson, Diddy and many of his associates will likely face federal charges, but it's not totally clear when. And what do you think a timetable would look like for all of that? I know that there's a lot of evidence to gather over many years, but is it possible that a federal indictment could be just around the corner? I would hesitate to say just around the corner because with all of the experience I've had with his office approaches cases, they do not move until they have you fully, like they have you dead to rights, basically. So they are going to take their time. They're going to collect all the evidence. They're going to speak to as many witnesses as they can. They're going to follow every single trail, every single lead that they can before they go to an indictment. There can be continuances. There can be other things that can delay the case. But once you file that charging document, the clock starts ticking. So that, I, you know, when I was a prosecutor, I always advised my detectives, anybody that I was training, that you get all the evidence you can up front, and then you file charges. So when is it possible that we would actually see him being arrested or facing any of these indictments? Could it be months down the line? I feel that it would be months down the line. Yeah. I, I would not be surprised if it was before the end of this year. Because um, again, this is going to be a massive You have to get all your affairs in order. At least three states, much as we saw a party every in day. the 
uh, in the Epstein case, where he was bringing like underage no girls to uh, one of his islands in the Caribbean. And there have been some allegations. You heard about the Jeffrey Epstein story? Planes, things happening on trips. So there may be additional locations. It came up during a different video. I started to speak on it and I'm like, no. Nah. That may need, need to be spoken to in order to get a full picture for what charges would be appropriate and what would be the best pass forward with this case. And it's possible Diddy serves a lengthy prison sentence for all this if he were to be convicted in criminal court. If this does happen, that P. Diddy is indicted. I know in R. Kelly, we saw quite a large sentence for him. What could P. Diddy be facing if he, he is convicted of eventual indictments? Yeah, well, it all depends mm -hmm. on what charges are brought and how many counts of each charge is brought, right? Because for each, uh, for, for each charge, is usually one victim or survivor attached to that charge. So if he, if if the uh, U.S. Attorney's Office is able to pull together 15 survivors, right, and they're willing to come forward and testify, you may see 15 counts. So the question will be, if he's convicted, will all those counts run concurrently, meaning at the same time, or you know would they all in be his hand. consecutive? And if it's consecutive, it's a moon man from MTV, like MTV months, Awards. Right. Um, if they're run concurrently, again, depending on, on the universe of what is charged. They say P. You know, Diddy got Tupac to killed. They say he was the one who convicted. made that call. There's going to be no way There's speculation that. around all that. Is there any possibility that he walks away clean I know what I believe. So I just don't know. Dropped and he faces mm -hmm. no Look. possibility that he walks away. There, there's going to be no way around that. Is there any possibility that he walks away clean from this, that everything is dropped and he faces no charges or any prison time? Not impossible. I mean, anything is possible. Highly unlikely. But I, I don't see that happening. I see him kind of going the path of R. Kelly, where, again, for so many decades, he was able to T. Jakes? act with impunity and just, you know, with harming mm. so many uh, you know, young women. But eventually he had to pay the piper. And eventually he ended up with a prison sentence. So I that in this juncture, from what's been publicly available, from reading Little Rod's filing, from re and reading and hearing about the horrible things that Cassie Ventura endured during her nearly a decade relationship with him that started when she was a young woman, I, 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 I'm not seeing a scenario where he can escape liability, criminal liability. I'm, I'm just Unless not he seeing kill it. his it's witnesses. It's possible, but I'm not seeing it. Or survivors. In a statement, Diddy's attorney, Sean Hawley, denies all of Lil Rod's allegations. He writes, quote, his reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to And then to a lot of rappers headlines. got P. Diddy in the song. We have overwhelming nah. proof that his claims well, are said, complete lies. Diddy. Diddy's son, Justin like Combs, that. is also mentioned in the lawsuit. A statement released from him reads in part, quote, Justin Combs categorically denies these absurd allegations. They are all lies. This is a clear example of a desperate person taking desperate measures in hopes of a payday. There will be legal consequences for all defamatory statements made about the Combs family. So far, we have not heard a comment from hmm. Cuba Gooding Jr. And as of now, P. Diddy has not been Seven arrested and does not face any criminal charges. Reporting for That's what I've time, I'm Sierra Gillespie. This mess done made me tired. Oh. This is this is what y'all old heads doing now. <laughs> you young heads. Nah, we, ain't, we ain't getting all that. This is y'all rappers Please. doing. Right, it ain't, ain't y'all rappers. P. Diddy. Y'all stay in trouble, Josh, so don't even. See, we shoot and kill. <laughs> we don't abuse. <laughs> <laughs> no, that ain't funny. That ain't funny though. But it's show lame. Um, yeah, we are probably gonna do some more of P Diddy, um, lawsuit. Not no songs. We we'll probably get to it. We did some songs. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. I can't believe this. I hope. I hope that what they're saying is not true, but it, it more than likely it is. Um. <sighs> I know they're gonna serve justice if it heard, is. He was doing stuff with some a lot of these rappers. A lot of y'all favorite rappers was getting bent over. Y'all be safe, gang. Peace. There's so much I can say.